everybody, I'm back with another video. I just finished my House of Horror review and I decided I wanted to drop by and do a video that wasn't impromptu, me saying, hi, what's going on? Uh, to start as a warning, you're going to hear my loud kids out saw there's nothing I can do about them they're always very loud at night but today I'm not going to be discussing movies I'm sorry for all of you who come around for the reviews and the discussions of flicks instead I'm going to be discussing books um, books that I enjoy and books that I plan on reading fear not if you like horror there are books that are horror in um, the books I'm going to recommend to you so I'm going to go ahead and start because I don't want this video to be too long and hope that you kind of enjoy the books that I've read that I recommend if you've not checked them out maybe you'll check them out and then if maybe you've read the books I'm going to read you can tell me what you thought about them so first and foremost let's start with horror Horror. Um, this is Jack Ketchum's Off Season. I highly recommend this. This was his first novella, and it is the, because I keep pronouncing this wrong, Unexpurgated, Unexpurgated edition. This one is not like the Ballantine version. Nothing is cut out of it. It is his original vision as he saw it. If you're going to read this book, get this edition. It's, it's the only way to really read it and enjoy it. It's very dark. It's very macabre. It deals with cannibalism. And yeah, it's, 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 it, there's a reason that Stephen King considers Jack Ketchum super creepy. Really good. Uh, another one that is of a horror variety, but more of a um, psychological horror that I really enjoy is The Collector by John Fowles. I highly recommend this one. It's about a man who, um, a young man who becomes infatuated with a young woman. His fantasies turn to reality when he kidnaps her and wants her to fall in love with him. Very dark, very disturbing, very creepy. There were actually serial killers who had this book in the basement where they kept their women trapped, although I cannot recall the name of uh, the serial killers at this time. Sorry, my kids are still being loud. Another one that's serious, psychological, kind of horror. Living Dead Girl. This one is by Elizabeth Scott, as you can see down here. Uh, it's about a young girl who's kidnapped at the age of eight, I believe, and her uh, kidnapper turns her into his lover, um, but unfortunately she becomes too old for him, and he begins looking for another victim, and he expects her to help him, and she knows that when she helps him find another girl that her time is up. Very dark, very macabre, but a very fascinating read. Really enjoyed it. Um, this one is kind of sort of a horror, but it's off the cuff, and it's hilarious. It is Queen Victoria demon hunter I, I can't tell you how much i love this book it's hilarious it, it's just you'd have to read it it's just a different take on queen victoria altogether i won't go into the details of it but definitely check this one out if you've if you've not had a chance it's written by e a e morat i'm sorry a e morat um yes very very good if i have a chance i'll put the, the names in the description bar below if you're curious about any of these and you want to check them out Okay, so now we're going to go to other books that are, I wouldn't say horror nature, but just books that I really enjoy. Um, are You Alone? The Unspeakable Crimes of Andrew Yates. It's by Suzanne O'Malley. This book it gave me the creeps on so many levels because it explores the case and you get to see just how off in the head Andrew Yates was when she murdered her children. It's very descriptive. It's very disturbing. But it really delves into mental illness and postpartum depression. I highly recommend this book to people, especially if you like true crime and whatnot. Another one that's based off true stories, Angela's Ashes by uh, Frank McCourt. I really enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed it. There's a second book following this called Tiz. I have that one upstairs. Um, this is a very, very, very good book. Very dark. It, well, it's not really dark as much as it is just sad. Um, but it's true. Living in poverty trying to make ends meet and just existing in, in a world where it seems that sometimes that no one wants you in life. It just isn't all of that it should be. Really, really love this one. Left a profound impact. Gotta go with the classics. John Steinbeck, Grapes of Wrath. This is a wonderful book if you've not read it. You know, a lot of people say required reading. I don't want to read John Steinbeck, but this is one of his best. Absolutely must read. If you've not, give it a chance. And then my favorite by John Steinbeck. East of Eden. Um, I love this book. I used to have a, a tradition of reading it every single year. Family, turmoil, strife, conflict, just a beautiful book, beautifully penned, and I just, I love John Steinbeck's voice. Some people may think that I'm odd, but I do. Um, then, of course, I'm going to go into the books I think that you must, 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 must read. I've already mentioned this one. It's The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. There are three in the series. The movie, the first one, is coming out next year. It is a phenomenal young adult series that reminds me, and I have it kind of up on this back shelf, of Battle Royale. It kind of has that feel to it. The, the subject matter is very dark, but it's very well written. I loved all the books in this series. I just devoured them. I poured through them. If you've not read Hunger Games, I cannot recommend the series highly enough. And then, of course, as you all know, my favorite book ever. I've talked about it multiple times. 
Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. I, I love, 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 love this book. As a matter of fact, if you remember, my husband got me the signed first edition. So I was very thrilled with that. Okay, so there are my recommendations. And i got to hurry. We're at five minutes. We don't want this video to last forever. So now I'm going to go into what I'm going to be reading soon. Um, I heard good things about this one, so I picked it up. It's called A Monster Calls uh, by Patrick Ness. And it's inspired uh, by an idea from... A sobbing Dowd. Um, this one sounds really, 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 really good. Uh, it's young adults. It's got pictures and it and whatnot. There you go. Uh, I really can't wait to get into this. I, I bought it because I, the reviews were just so excellent for it. War Horse. This is being. It, it is a film. It's coming out soon. I know it's for children, but I'm going to read it. I'm very interested in it. I'll pass it off to my daughter. From what I can tell from reading it already, it's told, told through the point of view of the horse, which is kind of interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. If Wishes Were Horses, I saw this when I was at Sam's Club. It sounds really, really good. Kind of uh, a romance, if you will, but not your average romance. And it just sounds really good by Robert Barclay. I'm going to be giving this one a read. I told you guys that I bought this, and I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I really need to. I may end up reading this one first. And that's Anna Dressed in Blood. I just love the cover art, and I've heard that it's a fantastic mix of horror and a young adult and just romance in a weird, macabre kind of fashion. Very excited to read this one. And last but not least, I picked this one up. I'm very excited to read this one. And that's The Scorpio Races. This author actually wrote a werewolf series. I believe it was called Shiver, which I have not read. But when I heard about the premise of this, which is someone that's killed, and I'm looking to see if it's got it on the back. Um, but there are horses that um, actually... Uh, the, the, the horse kills its rider, but they're special water horses, I believe. But I've heard good things about this book, and I'm very excited to read it. So if any of you have read Scorpio Races, Anna Dressed in Blood, If Wishes Were Horses, The War Horse, or uh, A Monster Calls, let me know. I'm very curious about them. So there you go. There's what is going on in my library. I have tons of other books that I've yet to read, read but I couldn't do all of them because this video would be an hour long but uh definitely there's my rex i will put a list here i'm throwing a bit i'll put um a list um with the links below i, I guess what i'll do is to, uh i don't even know where i'll list them to i'll just put the names of the books and the author and then you can search them down if you're so inclined so anyway i hope you're all having a great week i don't know when i'll have a chance to do another video hopefully it won't be too long but i did want to do a video that involved something other than me just rambling on like a fool um i hope you all have a great week i hope that you're enjoying the holiday season we have our christmas tree up and we've been listening to holiday music so i hope you get some good movies in i hope you get some good reads in i hope that you listen to me i would definitely say though and, and, and i know that uh Never Let Me Go is my favorite, but if you have to, have to, have to read any of them, if you're into dark material, I would really recommend The Collector by John Fowles, and uh, obviously The Hunger Games. Definitely check those two out. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. This video is eight minutes, and that is far too long, but until next time, I hope that you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.